Welcome to Science Access. In today's class, we'll be starting, or we'll be talking about the law of logarithm. You know you are new to this channel, please decide to subscribe to my channel and press the notification button so that you get notified whenever I post a new video. All right, so let's take a look at this. The first law, log base A, open bracket, M times N is equal to, now, we realize that M is multiplying what N. So we now put, both of them have a common base. We now put log base A, M, plus log base a n. Now, if you are giving this, or you are giving this, which is, you can also put it in this form. Since both of them have the same base, and I put pick one base, and you now put m times n. So it's the same thing. So this is equal to this, and this is equal to this. So let's take a look at this example. All right, simplify log is 9, 3 plus log is 927. Now remember, both of them have the same base. So we'll now pick one of the base, log base 9, open bracket, 3 times what? 27. So 3 times 27 will have 81. So we'll have log base 9, 81. Now, remember, log base um, 81 is empty as 9 raised to the power 2. So we can now put log base 9, um, uh, 9 raised to the power what? 2. So there's a law in logarithm that you know we have discussed that before in my part one of this video. If a number is a power is raised to this, you cannot take this one back. This two, you take it back. So we cannot have two log base nine nine. All right. Now, if you have log base nine nine, these two they are the same thing. In that case, this is actually equal to one. It's a law in my previous video, which I did some example regarding that. So log base 9, 9 is the same thing as 1. So we now have 2 times 1 is 2. But you can solve it in another way. You can decide to solve it this way. Log base 9, 81, it equals to what? X. So this is the logarithmic form. If you have not watched my previous video, please watch that so that you understand it better. So this is the logarithmic form. So I will now change it to the index form. So we now have 9 raised to the power x equals to what? 81. Now, we now have 9 raised to the power x is equals to 9 raised to the power 2. This 9 cancel this 9. We now have x is equal to the power what? x is equals to 2. So 2 is still our answer in both cases. So let's take the second uh, law. Log base 9 bracket m over n, which is division sign, is equals to now take note. Once it's division sign, in this case, it's actually minus so both of them have common base we will now have log base 9 and minus log base 9 sorry log base a n so let's take a look at this question so that we just understand so that we understand it better log 64 minus log 4 remember if there is no base it's actually assumed that there's the base there is 10 but we don't need that so we can just put it this way log 64 divide log what 4 if you use log 64 to divide 4, if you use 64 to divide 4, what will you get? You get 16. Now, 16 is the same thing as 4 raised to the power 2. All right, you can take this one back. But I can decide to solve it another way. My final answer is actually 2 log 4. I can also decide to solve it another way. Whatever answer I get will be equal to this. If I decide to solve it in another form. All right, so let's take a look at question number three. All right, let's take a look at question number three. We have log m raised to the power n base a is equal to n log m base a. Remember, this power is actually brought back. We will now have what we have there before. So I use this um, format in my previous question. All right. So let's take a look at this question. Example one, have one over two log 64 base a equals to three. Now, how do we solve this? Remember, what you have at the back is you can decide to put at as a power into this word m. All right, so we decide to take this to make 64 raised to the power one all over two. Remember this. If I say 4 raised to the power 1 over 2 is simply a square root of 4. 
All right, the same thing as square root of 4. It's a law in indices. You need to understand some of these things in indices. All right? So, 64 raised to the power 1 over 2 is the same thing as square root of 64. The reason why you're having square root is because what is at the base here is 2. Now, if you have 1 over 3 here, it's now be cube root. All right? So, take note of that. So, we have, because of this 1 over 2 here, we have square root of 64 equals to 3. 3 is still being taken. Now, now, square root of 64 is the same thing as 8. 8 times 6 is 64. So, square root of 64 is 8. So, now I have log 8 base A equals to 3. Now, this is the logarithmic form. We cannot change it to the index form, which we now have A raised to power 3 is equals to 8. So, we now have A raised to power 3 equals to 8. Please watch my... Uh, um, part one of this series to know, understand how to change from the index form to the logarithm form and from the logarithm form to the index form. All right, so we now have a raised to power three equals to eight. Now the same thing, eight is the same thing as two raised to power three. We now have a raised to power three is equals to two raised to power three. So this cannot cancel out this. We now have a is equals to three. All right, so please take note of this and let's take a look at this last question. This last uh, this law here we have. Log a base a is equals to one. Now, any log a raised, having the, the same base as a, you have one as your answer. If you want to change this to the index form, remember you have this raised to power this. So now have a raised to power one is equals to what a. Any power anything raised to power nine raised to power one, you also have nine. So let's take a look at uh, example in this case. Log 10 base 10 is equals to 1. It's as simple as that. The is raised to itself is equals to what? 1. So you don't need to solve that. It's a very simple thing. But if you are asked to put this in the index form, you simply put it this way. 10 is equals to what? 10. 10 raised to power 1 is equals to 10. It's the same thing. So let's take a look at the second question. We have log 2 base 4. 2 log two, uh, 2 base 4. Now, remember, if we have 2 at the back of the log, we have to take it to the front to make it, the, uh, to, to make it an index of this number or the power of this number. So we now have log 4, log 2, base 4. Now, this log 2 is the power 2. 2 is the power 2 is actually equal to 4. Let me start again. Let me go through this again. We have 2 log 4. 2 log 2 base 4. Now, because of this at the back, I'll take it. These two will now be raised to power 2. So we now have log 2 raised to power 2 base 4. 2 raised to power 2 is the same thing as 4, right? So we now have log 4 base 4. And log 4 base 4 is what? Is 1. So it's a very simple process. Why we have the last one? Log 1 all over a base a is equal to minus 1. This is another log another law. So, if you are giving this, remember, 1 all over a is empty as minus a because you can watch the sum of this law in indices. So, let's evaluate evaluate log minus 10 base 10. So, this minus 10 is empty as 1 all over 10. So, we now have log 1 over 10 base 10 is equals to 1. Is the law that is here. So, in my next video, I'll be taking questions and answers, and I'll be solving some few challenging questions. It's not actually challenging anyway. Solving some questions on law of logarithm. Thank you for watching.